As we celebrate the Monday of the 16th week of Ordinary Time, we recognize in the scripture how God is always there to save us, giving us guidance. Sometimes when we're fearful, when we're full of anxiety, and so we begin in always with trusting God. We begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that be fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. When it was reported to the king of Egypt that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his servants changed their minds about them. They exclaimed, What have we done? Why we have released Israel from our service? So Pharaoh made his chariots ready and mustered his soldiers, 600 first class chariots and all the other chariots of Egypt, with warriors on them all. So obstinate had the Lord made Pharaoh that he pursued the children of Israel, even while they were marching away in triumph. The Egyptians then pursued them. Pharaoh's whole army, his horses, chariots, and charioteers caught up with them as they lay encamped by the sea at Pihara in front of Baal Zephon. Pharaoh was already near when the children of Israel looked up and saw that the Egyptians were on the march in pursuit of them. In great fright they cried out to the Lord, and they complained to Moses, Were there no burial places in Egypt that you had to bring us out here to die in the desert? Why did you do this to us? Why did you bring us out of Egypt? Did we not tell you this in Egypt when we said, Leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians. Far better for us to be the slaves of the Egyptians than to die in the desert. But Moses answered the people, Fear not, stand your ground, and you will see the victory the Lord will win for you today. These Egyptians whom you see today, you will never see again. The Lord himself will fight for you. You have only to keep still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward, and you lift up your staff, and with hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the children of Israel might pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive the glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm will be, Let us sing to the Lord, He has covered Himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord, He has covered Himself in glory. I will sing to the Lord, for He is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot He has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise Him. The God of my Father, I extol him. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself 
in glory. The Lord is a warrior. Lord is his name. Chariot, chariots and army he hurled into the sea. The elite of his officers were submerged in the Red Sea. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. The floodwaters covered them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has shattered the enemy. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia. with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth. Three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with this generation and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please join me in the intentions for this Mass for Astrid Larson Hammett. Please keep him and his family in our prayers. And so we hear in both readings, we hear how people are doubting. People are looking for some type of sign. We hear Pharaoh is going back on his word after releasing the children of Israel. Now he's coming after them to enslave them once again. The people look up and see them coming after him and say, Lord, Moses, why are you sending us out here to die? We warned you against this. And you said, leave, when we said, leave us alone. And then we see how, in the reading, we hear about how people's unbelief, that they will be judged, judged by the people of Nineveh, judged by the Queen of the South they were looking for signs, but they didn't recognize the true sign, Jesus, that the Father sent him to save us. And so where in our own lives do we look for signs from God? Lord, I'll do this if only you do this for me, or show me this. And we are tempted to always do that, to look for something. And we've already been given the message over and over. We've already been given the examples of the life of Jesus, he who loved us. He who loved us by doing the Father's will. And so we are called to do the same, to do the Father's will in trust, in dedication, in recognizing our brothers and sisters in each other. So we're, instead of saying, Lord, Lord, why are you putting me in this situation in my life? Why are you allowing me to die out into this desert, whatever that desert looks like in our own lives? But instead seeing that God will often work through those difficult times those times that we'd rather not have to go through. But it's by going through them, by living through them, by trusting in God, that we will be something even stronger, that we will be a better people, a better Christian people, and a better people who look around and see 
God's work throughout our lives. So that is our challenge, to recognize where God has already done wonders in our lives, where we often take it for granted, thinking it was up to us, it was our doing, but in reality it's the Lord. So let us be, this be a day of rejoicing, of recognizing the Lord's work, that his true sign of love is in his son Jesus, that he sent him so that we may all be saved. Let us stand before our petitions. We recognize, Lord, in our own journeys, how you've touched us, how you've saved us. Be with us as we pray for those who among us struggle, who don't recognize the good works that you do in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick, and all those names and intentions that have been placed in the book of the sick, that they may be healed and comforted. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and for those who will die today. We especially remember the intentions for our Mass. For Astrid Larson Hammett, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray the prayer that is in the quiet of our heart. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you who are the Father of mercy, help us to recognize all the, the goodness that you put in our lives, especially your Son, Jesus, who loved us to death. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants, and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For through he was in the form of God. He emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been called exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall. That they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Belize, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. We especially remember the intentions for our Mass, for Estreed Larson Hammett. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Be 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. So let us recognize all the good gifts, all the, the ways God touches our lives. Make us whole, make us holy. Let us give him thanks and in gratitude recognize that true gift that he gave his own son, Jesus, who died for us. Let that be a gratitude and prayer of thanksgiving always on our lips. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Soon we'll reach the shining river, soon our pilgrimage will cease, soon our happy hearts will quiver with the melody of peace. Yes, we'll gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful river, gather with the saints at the river.